it's impossible not to mention his height and reach, which is extraordinary. Uh, oh, come, Paul! Uh, fundora! Pelea duro, Pelea limpio. Listen, you heard everything, right? Good luck to both of you. At the top of the telecast, I think it bears repeating the... The problem is Fundora has eight inches taller. Right hand to the body. Very important for him to do that. The fact that Fundora is so tall. The stick tonight. That could happen. It's head level. <laughs> extra, extra, read all about it, Fundora. <laughs> Opening round and... Already 42 by today's standards. <laughs> yeah, true, right. <laughs> the jab and Ocampo. Pine with it, he started, there it is, he timed it. He... The bell in round number two. The distance, and there's a, a left. That jab, he wants uh, Ocampo to see stars, but Ocampo is, is a uh, tribute. Of course, his uppercut proved to be the, the money shot against. And again, Pandora doing, you know, what? Sharp jab that lands for Pandora. There it is. And there's a left. 54 pounds. There all night because Ocampo's going to come. Oh, good straight counter forward. right hand. And Ocampo landed, so it's going to happen from time to time. Ocampo. Of course, he's up a big notch in terms of. Actually weighed 147 and a quarter for a fight. Ocampo. Ocampo, it's his 178th. It's got to find a way to do that without getting blasted by yeah. some experience. Then Fundora. Yes, exactly. Use, use angles. There it is. Try to catch him with that overhand. Was it out nine knockdowns? Yeah. That right hand, it, it, it's, it's oh. over. There's a clipping left hand. Handsomely responsible as well. Again, pairing the jab, putting together a combination. What he wants to try and do. There, there he's going downstairs. The shots upstairs and uh, has shown some pop. It's been a little better round for a compo. 51 thrown. But again, Ocampo's opponents, obviously, you know, he's mad. Fundora, been his best combinations. Power punches in this fight, that's other than... Against Errol Spence right. Jr. <laughs> Connected on 20 of 68. And they begin to open up a little more to kick off. Up. Like you have to do against a guy like Fundora. Exactly, so, you know, it works for Ocampo. Ocampo, Ocampo has to keep doing that. Oh, the body with the right, and they're cuffing right. Just get whacked by an uppercut and knocked out. Who knows? But wow. Guess what? <laughs> oh, nice left hand by Fundora, too. He's a good inside fighter. But I was liking him more in the outside. Bring those advantages, but trying to land the power. Uppercut. Oh, the man. Talks at the top whether this would enter the to toe as we anticipate a great round of action it's in the fourth we begin the fifth and Fundora speaking of Fundora and, and, and one thing that I like that that he was doing in the punch I was going to mention that after an out for a couple he's had success you see but again we talk about Fundora on the inside easy path to the to attack as we're seeing here Ocampo's thrown inside punches. Like you mentioned, uh, Mo, I'm not setting down on it, and he wants to do that. Away to the body, Fundora, counting for Fundora. And there's the uppercuts on the inside for Fundora. Yeah, Fundora can definitely keep this pace for a very long time. Body shot by Fundora, clubbing right hand. There's a clipping right hand. Compo his entire career, quote, rip his head off. <laughs> Leaning in on Fundora. Fundora, as you mentioned, guys, created so those looping overhand. There it is. It was about outworking your opponent, speaking of Fundora, and he does what you would like. Oh, and there, Ocampo, in that first round against Errol Spence Jr. Get on Ocampo. Oh, nice straight left hand by Fundora. There's a body shot from Fundora. Body shot again by with the left followed up with a right Pandora's pressure and he's gonna have to fight oh Mo I'd have it 57 57 very clearly 
but still I have it 3-3 after six rounds. Begins to become a bit of a concern for yeah. his corner. He's... And especially if Fedora keeps working that body. Compared to yeah. 20 for Ocampo, there's a headline. Yeah, it is a headline. Can't land a jab in a straight line. Of course, yeah, yeah. Range. Man, just... Yeah, 100%, yeah, I, yes. I agree. And oh, there's a winning, chucking all kinds of nasty leather at each other. Adjustments you would like to see Ocampo make and, and Fundora as well. It's leverage for, 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 for that hook with that uppercut. Man, a gutsy. Uh, throw the overhand right or left. Surprise, Fundora. Wow. No punches out. Oh, yeah, he's hanging in there. Yeah, he gives a couple of chances at least to land punches mm -hmm. when he when he uncorks oh, them. And there it there's is. There's a right hook from Fedora. And the desperation of Ocampo to try to... Uh -huh. The leaning Abner would yes. serve him well. The jab could, remains a part of the arsenal. Mm. Lacking steam. And <laughs> right there, and there's a double left hand. Am I nuts? How can you walk to a fighter like that who's banging away? That's outrageous. I'm sorry. I mean, is that wrong or am I? Well, look at him. He's still fighting. I mean, he, he... And Ocampo continues to. I mean, he is throwing, he is landing the body work. Winging away and throwing punches. And Ocampo throwing 12 more punches. Under a minute left and nine. In tag. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Be big heavy shots. Body language. But again, Al, you're right. He's not been down. He gets the round. Again, adding fuel. We will see round 10. Number nine. So how would you stop a fight? Campo just leaning in, but again, winging those punches. Maybe a one or two point fight. And the other guy still up landing some, some good right hooks. Right hook. There's a right uppercut on the inside. Oh, left uppercut. Campo, in this round, Fandora has been more precise. But, uh, you know, we'd like to see him throw that body shot. Yeah, maybe that made Campo even more. He has thrown 15 more punches. It, um, it's being close to being stopped. I got to do something. Ultimate round. Stall the uh, spilling of water. They want. He wants Dora and Carlos Ocampo in the 11th. Gonna, <laughs> you're gonna get. <laughs> I, I think maybe I comment on the theme. Maybe. And there's the final scoring of these last couple rounds in a way that like that. Take full control of the fight. Ooh. There's a nice combination. Ocampo, the opportunity to land and yeah. cleaner for Fandora. And Ocampo's only thrown third. And not everything's getting in for Fandora. There's a combination. Has completed the 12 round hey, distance. <laughs> 30 seconds elapsed here in the 12th and Ocampo. It's never a round where Ocampo was not trying. And for Fundora, it looks like for Ocampo to get in. And there's a sharp jab by Fundora's thrown 333 jab. Very good point to bring up, Marl. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he didn't throw as much body work as the commentating uh, by the officials on my style. So we saw Fundora Bernstein tonight. 30 seconds left in the fight, a 12 round distance. What was a, a great victory over Sergio Garcia?